Hey, real estate investors, James Wise from Holton Wise here. One of my clients, Cody, he's based out in Las Vegas. Him and his business partner, who's based out of Australia, saw an investment property on the MLS. They wanted me to analyze it, so that's what we're doing today. Let's dive in. All right, Cody, reading through your email here. James, been watching your videos for a while now and it's time to dive in. Ooh, you like my tagline. Thank you, sir. I have some general questions. I hope you can help me with also this being my first time investing in real estate. I'm sure there is a ton I'm missing. Myself and a partner formed a company in Nevada. I am based out of Las Vegas. He's based out of Australia. We are looking to invest in multiple properties. Some with OPM, for those of you who haven't heard the term OPM, what that stands for is other people's money. What that means is you're buying real estate using leverage, leveraging other people, getting other people to loan you money to invest in your deals. Investing, you know, there's many, many ways to invest your money. You can invest your money in stocks, other businesses, but the thing about real estate is it is probably the easiest way you can invest while getting other people to loan you money. You see, residential real estate, for instance, you can purchase properties with 30-year fixed-term loans. You can't do that if you're going to open up a bar or if you want to invest in the stock market or Bitcoin. So I love using other people's money to invest in real estate. It's one of the number one reasons you should invest in real estate. Anyway, back to the email here. Uh, some with OPM and some with cash to expand our portfolio. We are brand new into this market and can use all the help we can get. The property we are interested in is 7105 Lexington Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44103. Over here, I've got the listing pulled up for you guys. Now, this is actually for the price. I mean, this is actually a really nice house just at first glance here. The house is listed for only $19,900. It was put on the MLS by a realtor out of uh, Platinum Real Estate, I believe it was. This property has been on the market for 15 days, okay? It was built, when was this thing built? It was pretty new. Yep, built in 1958, right? This is a pretty damn nice house here. We got nice vinyl siding, all right? This is a good looking house. All right, everything is checking out so far. There's going to be a little bit of renovation inside, but, you know, nothing major. Like this kitchen, you don't really have to do too much to it. You know, basically just a simple renovation. All you need to do is go through this property. You'd want to replace all the carpets, replace the kitchen and bath fixtures, paint everything one color. You'd want to do an agreeable gray color. That's what's going to attract the best tenants. And then you'd have yourself a really, really solid investment property. From what I'm looking at, you could probably renovate this house for, I would say, twenty-five to maybe thirty-five thousand. You know, and that's going to include a brand new kitchen, brand new bath fixture. So you could be all into this if you picked it up for twenty, spend thirty-five. You could be all into the property for fifty-five thousand. Now. This is a four bedroom house. It's got two bathrooms. And if they're really nice, nice big house like this out here in the Cleveland market, totally renovated, you're looking at renting houses like this for well over a thousand dollars. This would probably be an $1,100 rental in most Cleveland neighborhoods. But here's the gotcha. I don't really like this as an investment. I, I think this is a high risk investment. Um, depending on what you're doing, this could work. It could be a good investment. But from what you guys are telling me, Cody, you guys are completely brand new. You're out of Vegas. Your partner's in Australia. You're looking to expand your portfolio. I would assume you guys are looking for like stable rental income, and you're trying to use OPM. So what that's telling me is you might not just be sitting on piles and piles and piles of cash. You're looking for that cash flow, that rental income to really build up your portfolio. 
And if that is the case, if I'm correct on that, that being your plan, I would deny this deal for you. I don't think it works because for the price point of $55,000, you could purchase better rental properties in the Cleveland market. If you look at the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods that I've created, this zip code, 44103, it's got a median income, and that's household income. Typically, a household is going to include 2.5 people. So that's two adults, one half child. So between two and a half people, we have a median income of only $17,000. That is poverty, right? That's poverty. So that's high risk. On top of that, the house itself, let me pull this up here on the map. The house itself right here, it's sitting right across the street from this big school here. This is Martin Luther King Jr. This is a high school. Now, if you go to a website, it's called citydata.com. That's a great website for you, Cody, and all you other investors watching this out there. You could research any market. You know, you can get a lot of good information on that city data website. So I went ahead and I pulled up Martin Luther King Jr. School on that website. And what it does, it, it rates schools on a zero to 100 scale. We've got a house that's sitting in a zip code that's got a median income of only $17,000. I've given that neighborhood an F on my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. It's across the street from a school that's got an F rating. This is just, you know, this is a rough house. You know, it's a rough neighborhood. But here is the thing. It actually could work for some investors if you had a slightly different plan because I ran the comps on this neighborhood and they tell a pretty interesting story. If you look on this map I've pulled up here where the parcels are identified, so we got the house, you're right here, then you got a house next to you, but then right here, boom, boom, boom. That was three houses that were totally torn down. Here used to be a property, that was a torn down house. Right here, there's four, used to be a house, four houses there, another three here. Over here, you've got torn down houses. You just, you know, expand it here, just, just tons of just blight here. Torn down house, torn down house. Over here, just a whole street basically was torn down. We, we just got so much blight. But for the right investor who has got just tons and tons and tons of money and is really looking in the long-term game, this could potentially work because this is just something very interesting and you don't see this a lot. What you have here, here is the house, but I have gone ahead and pulled up a map. If you take a two minute car ride from this house and you just swing down East 71st and you go on how, you could go into this development right here where they pretty much tore an entire neighborhood down and they just built up tons of new houses, right? So just like, Tons and tons of like, you know, great houses. Like, look, you got kind of like a semi rough apartment building, and then boom, it's in like a nice cul de sac type neighborhood. Like, this looks like the neighborhood I live in. Just like a, a ton of just, just, just beautiful, gorgeous houses over here in this neighborhood. Like, pretty wild that you can see a property that's going to look like this with only a two minute drive from the other house. But even though it's only a two minute drive, these are still very much worlds apart. The kind of people that are going to live in this little cul-de-sac area, you know, they're not the kind, you're not going to get those same types of people to rent that other house because, you know, it's just so blighted. Even though we're so close, it's like a lot of people will tell you, hey, it's a street-by-street -street thing. This is very much a street-by-street -street thing. So is there a possible play here to pick that up since it's so cheap and then pick everything else up and then uh, hope that the new development over here kind of carries over? possibly i mean that could be a play like if you look at the comps like they sell for a pretty decent price like that house that i just showed you right there that house sold for two hundred sixty thousand dollars a few months ago so that is a potential option but I, I just think it's too risky unless you're just sitting on tons and tons of cash and you can go in and you could just purchase the entire neighborhood so if that's not you i would pass on this deal for a total price of $55,000, there's just tons of better properties out there in the Cleveland market. Like for me, if I've got $55,000,
I would take that and I would probably pick something up maybe in Euclid or maybe Garfield Heights or some of the western areas of Cleveland, like the old Brooklyn neighborhood. Just a lot more stable. You know, it doesn't go from extreme poverty to a nice little pocket, which is going to totally confuse you. You know, you can kind of tell the asset class of the neighborhood and it's much easier to navigate. Because if you're trying to navigate over here, you're pulling up comps. You're like, oh man, I could buy a house for $19,000. And if I pull up my quarter mile comps, there's $260,000 houses selling down the street. I'm going to be able to buy this, renovate it. My ARV is $260,000. And you think you're going to make like $100,000 on the deal. Absolutely not the case. But I mean, you'll get a lot of unsophisticated investors or uneducated wholesalers that will try to pitch you on that stuff because they pulled those comps. But you know, in real world practice, th that is absolutely not the case. And again, this is a risky deal. I'm going to go ahead. James Wise denied for you, Cody. For everyone else out there, if you enjoyed this analysis, if you see a property out in the Cleveland market on the MLS, or maybe not even on the MLS, maybe you saw it on Zillow, or it's a for sale by owner, or maybe a wholesaler is trying to sell it to you. Maybe they said, hey, you can buy this house for $20,000. Here's quarter mile comps, there's $260,000 houses right down the street. Before you make that purchase, before you drop down all that money halfway across the country or halfway across the world, I mean Cody's partner here, he's out in Australia. Before you drop that money on an area you are not familiar with, you can go ahead and reach out to me and get an analysis just like this one. These are totally unbiased opinions. It doesn't matter to me if you buy the property or you don't buy the property. I am a real estate broker. I can act as your broker if you do want to buy the property. This one's listed on the MLS from some folks out of, uh, I think it was a platinum real estate office. If Cody does want to buy this property, I can act as his broker. Although giving you my completely unbiased opinion, I'm saying it's not a good idea for him to do that. But I could if I wanted to, or you could simply take my analysis and make an offer directly to your seller, to your wholesaler, to your listing agent. I'm just here to provide you with the information. On top of that, I sell my own properties. I'm actually the number one seller of investment property in the Cleveland market. So if you're not subscribed to my daily email list, do so now. I send out one property offering. It's typically a rental property or a portfolio of rental properties, complete with a complete analysis like this and a video tour, which is gonna include drone footage, information on the mechanical systems, every and anything you're going to need to know to make a purchase. I send those out every single day at 1 p.m., so make sure you're subscribed to that list. I'll put a link in the description below so you can get on there. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, 
tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.